We are living in truly wild times. We just watched one of the most powerful evil men in the world just log off. Just He just logged off right in front of all of us and like nothing's going to be done about it. it. It's wild. But that's not what this video is about. I actually made a video about this a while ago and a lot of people didn't really get where I was coming from so I kind of want to restate what I mean again. Massive solidarity to all the strikes going on, to all the workers everywhere, absolutely, like that goes without saying, unequivocally. But as I've said before, the only thing that unions do is negotiate with the power structure, which means what? That we're leaving the power structure intact. And while we absolutely need to support the fights for workers and for worker rights, we got to keep expanding that conversation, or we're not going to ever actually get free or get anything that's going to matter long term. And this is why I will continue to advocate for, in connection with, separate from, in addition to, whatever strikes and other actions that we need to be doing, is massive boycotts, something like a consumer's union. Because argue if you want about whether or not we have freedom or whether or not our votes matter, whatever. We can't vote on the prices of things. We can't vote on price freezes. We can't vote on whether or not people's rents have to be reduced. The things that materially affect our lives we have no say in, and that's just a fact. That's not like a, an opinion, that's just a fact. And so, especially in the modern time when we have the ability to communicate with each other on a wider scale than humans have ever experienced, we need to harness the power of the consumer as well as the power of the worker. These two things should be viewed as the left and the right hand of everything we need to do moving forward. If every existing union wins the most massive gains for their industry, and I and I hope they do, I ardently hope they do, that still isn't going to change the baseline conditions under which we are living for the average person. And let's also keep in mind that inclusion in labor unions, that participation in labor unions, has been massively dismantled because they dismantled it when they saw how much power that unions can have. So in supporting unions and supporting workers, we also have to think not about what we can just watch and support, but what we can personally do. And what are we? We are the consumers. Consumers are the other engine that makes this society run. I really haven't heard any counterpoints as to why this shouldn't be what we're doing, but like it just seems that people are afraid to or just like because there's no precedent for it happening on a wide scale that people don't want to try it or just like, you know, think it won't work for some reason, even though it, it obviously would. And we definitely do have lots of smaller scale examples of boycotts working. So why not just make it huge? Make it nationwide? Because I don't just want to watch from the sidelines while unions win gains. I want to get involved. I want to do what I can do. And honestly, in terms of things that are difficult or not so difficult to do, not buying something isn't that hard. 